Meanwhile, the Lindale film team has now won two major state awards for their documentary on a local miniature horse farm that helps teens with special needs. My co-host Channing Curtis caught up with the Eagle Vision film team as they prepare for their next big project. I was really excited. We were all really excited. Uh, some tears were shed. It's not every day that you win not one, but two statewide awards. But that's exactly what the Lindale Eagle Vision film team did for their documentary, Miniature Blessings. And it's about a little miniature horse farm. Uh, it's run by Don and Nancy Walters, and um, they have these little miniature horses for these uh, life skills kids to come and, and work with the horses and really learn all these different skills that they're going to need out in uh, whatever job they end up getting. And it gets them really good things to put on their resume so that people, even though their special needs, people will see their resume and say they, they can do these things. The team won the UIL State Championship as well as the Barbara Jordan Media Award for Miniature Blessings. They also placed fifth at state for their film, Youth with a Mission. I was like watching this like really amazing story come together and get, getting to like, uh, being able to like tell it through editing was just really fun, especially since I knew like it was something pretty special. The team actually got the idea for the documentary from classmates at Lindale High. When we heard about this, the special needs class was going out and working with the horses every week and really like learning how to do a job, I thought that was amazing and totally different than anything any of the other classes are doing. They then got to work shooting, editing, and doing audio for the entire project. In all, they spent more than 100 hours on the documentary. It was a little overwhelming at first, but it took some time to get into. The fact that like both of our films made in the top six, I was like really impressed with. I thought like that probably at least one would. Due to social distancing guidelines, the group hasn't had a chance to receive their awards in person just yet, but they do plan on having a celebration in the fall. We've got you covered, Lindale. Channing Curtis, CBS 19. A huge congratulations to the Lindale Eagles. Now, of course, if you want to watch both of these award-winning films, head over to our website at cbs19.tv for the link.